Never watched AFL at all, never really heard of it until I got a phone call one day in school, which was a bit strange. So I got a phone call from my brother saying Tag Canelli was going to give me a phone call. So he rang and sort of invited me to a trial. Went down to Dublin for a two day trial and tested pretty well and then went to London for four days. Did well again and was lucky enough to be invited out to the Combine in Melbourne. From not really hearing about AFL until actually getting signed was probably a nine month period, which happened pretty quick. Coming to the AFL at 18, even it, it changed me as a person. Never had a job before, never lived at a home. It was a big shock and definitely made me grow up a bit, a bit quicker and sort of fend for myself a bit more. So I suppose you come from being one of the top players coming over here and you're number 45 of the 48 players and you're bottom of the barrel. So that was definitely a bit of a shock and going from being so good at the sport to not actually being able to kick a ball straight was very frustrating for the first, honestly, probably year. The fitness side of it probably wasn't as much of a struggle as the game plan and the actual shape of the ball. It was really just repetition, repetition and then trying to transfer it out into a training and a, and a game. There's still certain rules that I don't probably fully understand. Yeah, it was, probably wasn't a tough call at that time. I was pretty, normally came back in January every year, but for whatever reason that year, just never really got back into the swing of it, never really wanted to be at the club or training. There was time just coming off the, the training track, nearly in tears crying and going up to coaches and just sort of nearly breaking down towards him. So he said, if you want to go home, go home. So I'm back home for for three weeks and sort of just weighed up my options of what I wanted to do, because I probably knew at the end of the year I was going to retire anyway from AFL, but I decided to go back out and give it one more crack. and. Then got back here and COVID started, so it changed everything again. It definitely didn't help the situation. It was already struggling and didn't really want to be here. And then to be sent up to Gold Coast and we're in a hotel and it just probably made it a bit earlier and I retired halfway through the season, probably due to it. One of the reasons to go home was to play Gaelic football again and to try win an All-Ireland title. I was lucky enough to succeed my second year home and definitely had a massive impact on me coming back. Yes, yeah, so there were five clubs interested when I was coming back and Melbourne's very full on with AFL and it's in the media whereas Brisbane's probably a little bit more laid back. What sort of started off probably in terms of coming back was taxing players that I'd played with before. So Joe was the one at Brisbane, he sort of just outlined how different of a lifestyle is up here and how much he loved it and just what a change of a club can actually do for someone and he wasn't far wrong, I'm loving it so far. I'd recommend anyone, if they got the opportunity to take it, something that you can, if you don't like it that much, you can go home. It's as simple as that. And it's an unbelievable a life experience, even just moving countries and living a different culture. And it was something I would, I would really regret if I'd never done it. 